The Singing Mermaid by Julia Donaldson. Did you ever go to Silver Sands on a sunny summer's day? Then perhaps you saw the mermaid who sang in the deep blue bay. She sang to the fish in the ocean, to the haddock, the hake and the ling. And they flashed their scales and swished their tails to hear the mermaid sing. And sometimes the singing mermaid swam, swam to the silvery shore. She sat and combed her golden hair and then sang some more. She sang to the cockles and mussels. She sang to the birds on the wing. And the seashells clapped and the seagulls flapped to hear the mermaid sing. Then Sam Sly's circus came to town. Sam took a stroll by the sea. He heard the mermaid singing and he rubbed his hands with glee. He said, I can make you famous. I can make you rich, he said. You shall swim in a pool of marble and sleep on a fine feather bed. You shall sing for the lords and the ladies. You shall sing for the queen and the king. You sh and young and old will pay you pay good up gold to hear the mermaid sing. Don't go, don't go, cried the seagulls and the seashells warned. He lied, but the mermaid listened to all Sam's sigh and smiled as she waved goodbyes. And he took her away to the circus and she sang to the crowds round the ring. And ma, ma, ma came the deferring roar when they heard the mermaid sing. Now the mermaid share, shared a cavern with Annie the acrobat and Ding the, and Dong the circus dog and Bella the circus cat. And she made good friends with jugglers and the man who was swallowed swallowed fire and the clown with the tumble down trousers and the woman who walked on a wire but she wasn't friend with, friends with old Sam Sly no she didn't care for him for he made her live in a fish tank where there wasn't room to swim and there wasn't a pool of marble there wasn't no feather bed and and when she begged him to set me free, he laughed and shook his head. All summer along the circus tod, all autumn, winter, spring, and many and many a crowd cheered long loud to hear the mermaid sing. But the mermaid dreamed of silver sands and she longed for the the deep blue sea and her songs grew sad and sad again and she she said I beg you to set me free but he he laughed and shook his head and told her no such thing here you will stay while people pay to hear the mermaid sing at Silver Sands, a seagull was flying to his nest when on the breeze he heard the, a song, the song which he loved the best. He followed the song to the cabin. Some sly was about to lock it. The seagull watched and turned the key and slipped inside his pocket. The seagull waited till Sam had gone. Then perched on the windowsill and tap, 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 tap at the window. He tapped with his yellow beak. Come back to Silver Sand. It's only a mile away. I can find the key and set you free if you'll come back home to the bay. Escaped, back the dogs. Escaped, 
meowed the cat, meowed the cat. But the mermaid sighed, I fail, for how could I walk to Silverton when I only have a tail? Like this, cried Annie the acrobat, and she stood upon her hands. This is the way, the only way to get to Silver Sands. Right hand, left hand, tail up high. There's really nothing to it. If you, if you give lessons every night, you'll soon learn how to do it. Next week, while Sam was snoring, the seagull t stole the key. He carried it off to the cabin and set the mermaid free. And he flew ahead to guide her as she walked upon the ha her hands all along the moonlit road then led to silver sands. And creatures on the seashore and the fish beneath the foam jumped and splashed and danced with joy to hear the mermaid home. And she sang to the cockles and mussels, she sang to the birds on the wing, she sang to the seashells and clapped, and the seagulls flapped to hear the mermaid sing. And if you go down to Silver Sands and swim on the Bay of the Blue, Perhaps you'll see the mermaid and perhaps she'll sing for you. The end.